course, starting here with my usual madness. Uh, thank you for watching, everybody of the YouTube peoples. Hopefully, you all enjoy the uh, various madness of the Jolly Fun Time Brigade and the incredibly long episodes that usually get uploaded. Uh, thank you for checking us out. Uh, definitely check out Roll20, uh, what is it, D20 Tools, and all the other shiny, shiny tools we happen to use, and hopefully catch us live. At uh, links hopefully provided next time because I think I forgot to do that last time. Anyway, rejoining the Jolly Fun Time Brigade right now. The DM, I guess. Are you guys ready tonight? With the DM asking, answering questions. Anyway, yes, we are ready to smite things. Let me remove my waiting or beginning shortly icon. There we go. Lovely. Oops, don't need that anymore. Whoop. Oh, and play. Me. But yes. All right. So you guys just killed uh, actually a really hard boss. I held back a little bit because I didn't want to kill you guys too. Yeah, bad, those those twig blights would have raped us. Because they're not me. they're they're only level two, but they because there's so many of them. And that ability, yeah. oh, that the ability. Sword. Which ability? The uh, I can't remember what it did damage even if it missed and it also gave me like a stun or something like that. Uh, I can only uh, yeah, use yeah. one Amazing. ability. Oh. And they then they went invisible. So yeah, that, that could have easily raped us. That that was evil. Yes, I'm sorry. Yeah, that was. Uh, if you uh, use uh, that, uh, console, you we, ended, we ended up having him kill over dead. So. Yeah. That particular one. Actually, what was the final smite again? Let me see here. Was that weapon? I think that was my shank killing. Yeah, four yeah. d twenty plus four. Shank. Yeah, forty to forty-five. Well, no, ignore that. That wasn't it. I was I was showing uh, my brother some of the things I'm we'll, we'll, we'll Oh, okay. No, that would be. Uh, it was the uh, the critical hit, the critical hit. It was a twenty critical plus three. Oh, yeah. uh, and then I did uh, thir uh, seventeen damage. Hey yo, yeah. There we go. Nice. Not including the critical part of it, which would have killed him anyway, regardless. Oh yeah, definitely. I wonder. Uh, how how did you get your uh, your what you call it to get big on the right your uh, chat? I zoomed in that specific spot. A subsection. Yeah. Yeah. How did you? Uh, I'm trying to think of how you would even do that in, in OBS. Oh, just window Probably. select I'm not window. Sure about it yet. window. Well, capture. just a window, window, just another separate window capture. Yep. That's what yeah. I do. I could add the chat in as well if I wanted to, but I have no room at this point. With everything else, but at least the way I have this now, I suppose I could shrink the display to be taking up the left flank, but then I wouldn't have any room for the logo and the music and all that stuff. So yeah, thirty percent for Neverwinter. Yeah, Neverwinter is nice. Um, wait, yeah, he already linked that. Thirty percent straw. Uh, I think I. Hey, Go King, welcome, mate. The voice of the darkness. So yeah, are we gonna look around, use our perception, see if there's anything else around, and uh, uh, take a nap? Let's. I think what we should do is take a rest first, and then, well, let's make sure nothing in the area, then take a rest. That's kind of the most pertinent thing at the moment. You know, make sure the portal is gonna disappear behind us now that the voice of darkness is gone. I, I would probably doubt that, but... You're fine with the portal, I'm not gonna be that evil. <laughs> you have been trapped in the, with, in, with the body of the voice of darkness. Feel free to, you know, expire. Right. Oh, by the way, since he mentioned that, the portal disappears. <laughs> Son of a ah, run away! How do we find our way oh, back boy. now? Nice okay. Nice so you guys, nice so you guys do notice that behind the uh, behind the voice of darkness is a pool of water that is uh, is a little glistening. Uh, it doesn't look quite like a pool of water, but it is water. Quick, Ashara, water form, meld with it. Meld with it! That sounds kind of awkward. <laughs> Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Hey, Hidden Ninja, welcome, mate. <laughs> Meanwhile, Dumber and... and, and uh, oh, Dumb, and the uh, fireball's still there, I think. They're hanging out with your... Uh, your yeah, you wanna, you're gonna have to get rid of my... Uh, Although it won't matter too much, you can fire. barely notice it. Hmm, so what should we roll to identify what this pool could be? So as you Perception. come up to as guys you guys come up to it, 
you can hear that it, it you you can hear faint faint whispers uh shane kill you can go ahead and roll an arcana check if you'd like i was arcana, gonna say you know let shane kill take care of this he listen he has voices all the time <laughs> actually i got one right there hey death wish tara welcome oh, in. For crying loud. hello Hood oh, ninja 15. at least it wasn't at least it wasn't a critical Roll a perception with that. Here's a multi-link for you guys to the triple stream. Feel free to check it out. We have both uh, weapon and the DM's uh, page uh, open, but please do not spoil anything from the DM's page. Oh, for crying out loud! <laughs> My rolls tonight are going to absolutely blow. So you, you start, as you get a little bit closer, and you realize this is actually a portal to the planar. The planar? The planar. The planar? <laughs> I'm kidding. It, 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 it is a magical pool of water, but it acts as a teleportation grid of, of sorts as well. Uh, you do notice that you, if you put your hand in, you can swirl around some water, and it is a, it is a tangible item, but you feel like if you get submerged, uh, you will not be here anymore. Interesting. Hmm. As... Uh, as you, as you guys, um, you know, swirl your hands around in it and wonder what it is, you guys start to hear a little bit of voices. Shane Kill hears, Help me. I'm in the dimension. And then it cuts out. Shar hears, Please come save all. It cuts out. Cal Neris, You really should treat Dumber better. Fuck no. <laughs> Disrespectful little bugger, I'll kick his ass. <laughs> Dumber hears, You're fucking awesome. <laughs> and Dub Dub hears, Me taste amazing. Twitch. So, I twitch. So, I so twitch. They, don't have enough, they don't have enough intelligence to really to get what's going on. That's, that's just their own thoughts, actually. <laughs> oh, so, hey, so, Ryan. So do we take the blue pill and see how far this rabbit hole goes? I, I so, would say we might want to rest first. So Dumber, yeah, let's rest Dumber, we to Dumber thinks he's internally awesome, and Dub Dub just wants more beer. Dub Dub always wants beer. Um, actually, uh, this is not a part of the Warlock script. The Warlock script is the extra, the other pathway. Um, this is something optional that I actually haven't built yet. So, wait. So whatever's through this portal you haven't <laughs> built yet? No, I haven't even built this part portion yet. So let's not go there. Okay, so now that we're so intrigued, I suppose we should just leave. Later. Do we have the option to come back? Yeah. Okay. Well, All right. Dub 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 dub, dub thinks mm, water looked tasty. Later. Um, in that case, that. I would vote dub Face dub. That. Feel free to try it out, my friend. Here, take uh. Dub Dub looks at you. Dub Dub looks at you and says, "No, stupid dragon, drink it yourself." Why did he turn Asian all of a sudden? I don't know. Why did he turn Asian? Oh, Shut up, stupid dragon! Why you don't talk to? No, I'm kidding. Stupid dragon, drink yourself. Fine. You know what? I'm a risk taker. I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna drink some water. Mm. Okay. So, <laughs> what? Uh, hold on. Let me see something real quick. Tastes like unicorn bile. So, um, damn, no I've got, I've got nothing for you. Feet. I've got nothing for you to. I guess roll a heel check. I have nothing for you to. To roll. You have no rolls for me to roll. I don't know. I don't know what you could roll for this. So just roll a health check. Roll a heel check. All right. Oh, let me whip out my lovely dice tool. Whoop. Don't be whipping nothing out. Oh yeah! <laughs> Please no! Oh, Please yeah. no! No, you are not. <laughs> I'd like to remind the viewers that we are not currently using the erotic of gay play. Eleven. Hmm. So you drink, you get fully healed. Um, you also feel as if you have taken a. A long rest. Oh, lovely. 
What a except, mystical fountain! Except because you failed your 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 heal check, you now have slight filth fever. Oh, lovely. Those infected by this disease waste away as they alternatively suffer as they alternatively suffer chills and hot flashes. Oh Jesus! So apparently he's now female. <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> so I'm an old female. I'm so I, I didn't. I don't mean anything negative. Oh, oh, just that you know. I'll take old. old lady. <laughs> it, I, I think you should feel. Either way, you're in the doghouse. Either way, you're in the doghouse. Anyway, anyway, <laughs> as I stumble away, I discern more about this. I'm not in the doghouse. Lovely. But anyways, you you are at stage one of this. While affected by stage one, the target loses a healing surge. Okay. So you must now make uh, checks uh, every time you go to, to take an extended rest. Um, if you roll a seven or a lower, the stage of the, the, the disease increases by one. Uh, 8 to 11 is no change. A 12 or a higher, the stage of the disease decreases by 1. Once you reach stage 0, you recover from the disease. I would also like to add that that would be an endurance check for him, and if and I can roll a heal check at the same time, me or weapon, and if ours is higher, then it's ours that's taken. <laughs> So, considering you are diseased, and I'm pretty sure the other two don't want to drink out of the pool, even though you get fully healed, also your health point, your bar is going way p out past what it should be. Oh. Yeah, thank you for that. The, Weird. The I don't know why I didn't max. adjust. Did you oh. fix the max? I didn't add your new max HP's values. Oh, so. Right. Well, technically, we haven't taken an extended rest, so. What's your new max values, though? Weapon yours is 30? Well, since you guys aren't going to want to, you know, drink a, drinketh of the pool of suffering, I'm assuming you're going to want to you know take an extended rest. I'm going to be impulsive. I'm going to take a, take a hit. <laughs> He's going to take a hit from the pool. I'm going to be impulsive. I'm right. take a hit. Roll, a, roll a heal check. Why not? Hey, Mozette, welcome, that. mate. Uh, you in stock? Yes! So Weapon drinks from it, is fully healed, feels like he's taking a full rest, and he's not diseased. God damn it. Well, I'll, I'll go in with the peer pressure and roll one as well. <laughs> I'll go drink some too. Go for it. Oh god, don't roll. Everyone else is doing it. <laughs> oh, it's all join horrible. Me, join that's me a, and plague them! <laughs> I, I really hope no impressionable kids are listening, because that's just horrible <laughs> advice. Everyone peer else pressure. is doing it. <laughs> Really hope no kids are listening. I'm yeah. just going with my character it never works here. Well. I, I swear we're. She, she's in Fire Soul. She's a little bit more impulsive, you know. True enough. True enough. <laughs> <laughs> I like the pun there. <laughs> she's fire. She's impulsive. At least you're not fire having hot Oh. Nice. Um. Oh come on! That was a double pun. She's a woman and on fire. <laughs> Yeah, well, I, was, I got distracted. <laughs> oh, yeah, you drink from the pool. You're completely fine. Actually, you have negative disease. That's right. You're <laughs> stage negative one. <laughs> don't know how that she works, but she, she rolled so well. She gained a surge. Sure, you, you gained a temporary surge because you rolled so well. Hmm. I also, All right, well, I guess we don't, means we don't need to rest. I also like really messing with silver. Cough. <laughs> Why am I not surprised? All right, go ahead and and make your endurance roll though to see if you debuff the disease. Give me a minute. Or go to stage two. But uh, at stage two, okay. you still lose a healing surge, but you also take a negative two penalty to your AC, fortitude, and reflex. Oh, By sucks. stage three, the target loses all healing surges and cannot regain hit points. The target also takes a negative two penalty to AC, fortitude, and reflex. Uh, and so, if you go past stage three, you're dead. I don't oh, think yeah. that matters. Yeah, you're you're at stage zero. That will Die. teach me to drink from random pools. Right, that will. <laughs> or and listen to dumber. Right? And listen to dumber. Why was that plus four? Uh, because of my endurance. Oh, endurance, right? Dur yeah, it's not healing. It's endurance. Um, I was like, if even at a third even if you had gone low, you would have a second. I would have a roll for you. Well, yeah. Yeah. At, so. at thirteen, he still would have. <laughs> Been yeah. at stage two. All right, so let me let me move you guys to. As Calneris rushes headlong through the portal. 
Yeah, we know how this works out, so that's not. <laughs> uh, sure. I'll, I'll move you guys considering it's well, out of your range. Well, technically, you guys can move wherever you want. Whether you see it is, is another story. Fancy. Fancy! Let me move my dice roller. Shangale! Uh-oh, turn order's popping up. That's not good. Well, I just wanted to see if I left the monsters in there from last time. Oh. You guys know you're going to be in encounters at some point, so it doesn't really matter. No, not really. Oh, okay. The only um, time we know that there's monsters around is when he actually says, roll initiative. Also, Dumber and, uh, yeah. And The Rock. And The Rock. And Dub Dub. Dub Dub Smash. No, anyway. Hey, Donifus, welcome, mate. Okay. So, you guys, it's now up to you uh, what to do. After you, Madame Ashar. Okay. Ladies first. Or should I say impulsive ladies first? Either way, I suppose. Face step. <laughs> Damn your face step! Don't forget your rock. Uh, yeah, let's, uh... Also, let's hold on, also, you should now be able to, to move it. Oh, can I move my rock now? You should be able to. Yeah, where's my rock at? Up near the portal. Up near the portal to the left. I'm trying to. Oh, you probably... I can't! My Ooh. rock! There are, all I'm saying is there are a lot of animated rock. objects around here. Although, it's not rough. It's amazing. they look like, I don't know, rib bones holding a flag to me, honestly. Oh, these swords. Here, let me, let me expand one for you. Okay. What the? Whoa. I guess it is kind of a sword in a way. I'm just making it real big so the idiot can see that it's a sword. Oh, uh, yeah. I guess so. That's the grip. That's just, that's just an odd-shaped sword. It's because it's not necessarily made for the grid. I think that's because there's a lot of the resources are made for the hex grid, which we're not using. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hang on. Oh, let me, let me actually start paying attention now. That might help. <laughs> uh oh, I see something. You should not pay attention. I see something in the distance. Cass. Cassius. Who goes there? Oh shit. Um, just humble traders here to peddle our goods. Do that. Humble trader, are you? Roll a, roll a bluff check. Okay. Let me find my bluff. Five. Can okay. Exception. See if we can figure out what it is before we go and try to bluff this thing. Really? He's no. always trying. Don't need to. Don't need to Wait, do what? that. He's got a five to his bluff, so it's not too bad. Yeah, let's see what we got. Ah, uh, thirteen. Not that great. Hmm. He looks at you with uh, suspicious eyes. Uh, he actually doesn't see Shank Hill right now, or uh, well, Calnaris kind of actually gave it away. Um, he didn't see Calnaris until Calnaris started talking to him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Talking bush. No, so uh, he actually did. He doesn't know that. Dub hey, Dub Dumber or, or Shame Gamer Kill Dude. are there. So that's that's a thing for you guys to keep in mind. He does not know that the three of them are there. I'm gonna keep my mouth shut then. <laughs> he does notice the rock, but all he sees is a char and he's he he hears Calnaris. So he looks at he looks at you uh he looks at you guys with a little bit of a squinty eye. Hmm. Traitors are ye? Well, show me the goods. Show me your moves. Sorry, couldn't resist. Um, are we to dance, dance it up? Dance, dance revolution. <laughs> <laughs> it's time to revolutionize this guy. Shall let's let's see if I can. What do I got here? Dance, dance Athletics of evolution. Athletics or acrobatics? You think for you know. For and what? What are you going to do? Flip over him? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, he said dance. You know, I want to try and do an entertaining dance for him. You know, try and calm the guy down, maybe. Well, no. <laughs> Can I try an insight? 
to see yeah. what he's doing here. Okay. What he is. <laughs> well, insight's more like. Dance, dance, dragon. Why is dance, he? Dragon. <laughs> uh, do you remember the? Uh, uh, do you remember the? Um, what? Uh, do you have? Blah. What you call? Do you remember the robot hey, chicken? The yeah. Dance Dance Revolution, but with uh, yeah, the uh, Colombian guy. Dance with, um, Dance El Revolution. El Revolution, yes. Yes, yeah, I remember that. that. I remember that. Dance Dance Re uh, El Revolution. Yes. Yeah, and then he gets shot in the face. Oh, 18. Oh. So you can tell that he is. Hold on, actually, let me see real quick. What did you roll? Perception or insight? Insight. Insight. Yeah. I can roll insight or perception if you want. Okay. Um. Well, no, that's fine. Go ahead and roll an arcana as well. Huh. Can I roll not it back here? here? No. No, it's her. Yep. Yeah. She's doing the action stuff. So. Oh. Oh wow. Okay, so I can, you can clearly tell that he is guarding the entrance right over there that you guys actually can't see. Um, that entrance. Ah. Mm. Let me scroll. Oh, too late. That entrance. Okay. Oh, lovely. Yeah, and you can also tell that he is controlling the constructs. He has been he has been muttering under his breath while um, you guys have been talking to him. Maybe Ashar should try diplomacy. What are you doing here, traitors? I don't see traitors. I see the adventures we were told of. Wait, who's been lying to you? You are. Very poorly, I might add. Ah. <laughs> you just <laughs> want to make sure you have brain tone. <laughs> <laughs> you try and drop a rock in his head? I suppose you could try and kite to the right. Maybe there's an alternate way to get around him. I don't know. You're I'm not... gonna do. I, I'm gonna be the impulsive one for once. I'm gonna be the jerk impulsive one, and I'm gonna use my face step skill. Even though outside the battle, I'm gonna face step in front of Ashar and immediately use an attack on him. I'm just gonna start the battle. I'm just gonna kill him. Whoa, I... whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> actually, I was getting close to whipping out my crossbow as as well. Actually, yeah, and 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 something about making a diplomacy check here. <laughs> yeah, I forget was like... the diplomacy check. Oh, no, let's go with what. <laughs> go with what she was. They were talking about here. Let's let them finish their. <laughs> <laughs> Not to mention, once you face up, you'll ha you'll give up your attack of opportunity if you've got one. I don't care. <laughs> it's up to you, man. If you want to be the impulsive one for once, I'm not against it. You, I have you, no problem with the impulsive. You, you can, you can go ahead and try, but I would like okay, to let's, let's, let's try the diplomacy thing first, I suppose. After you, Madame Shark, and don't forget. But, don't forget his intimidate. This would actually be the one perfect time for it to come in use, not getting money out of Shane Kill. Don't worry, don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. You can watch on all the streams. There's all the streams. Uh, oh, hang on. That one. Uh, we're using main chat. We're using a silver chat. That's the main one. So feel free to come chill. Uh, and you, just said, uh, you can't watch all of them. So the chat we're using is silvers. But watch whatever video you want. Whichever one you want, but the chat is on silvers. You can even oh, you, can uh, chat. you can even watch all of them, but just mute unmute one. Yeah, watch watch all of them. Get us but all the views. Just he's saying, can't watch he was all of saying them. that he his PC can't handle all three. Yeah. 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 That's well, shame. Pick, pick one of theirs since they're the player characters, and then pick mine since I'm the DM. So, Madame Ashar, let's see what your diplomacy has to offer us in this situation. I can't just jump out and blow him up in the face. Not yet, I, but I, you I, might still have that opportunity later. Don't worry. He still doesn't know you're there. Okay, yeah, I know. He also doesn't know Dumber and Dub Dub are there either. Dub Dub Smash! <laughs> Dub Dub no right diplomacy. No, I'm as, as you guys are talking to, to Cassabon here, Dub Dub looks chain kill. Do you have any wine on you? Yeah, I got some. I'll give it to you. We'll talk later. We're kind of like uh, 
trying to not <laughs> Keep things on the down low, man. He is pretty. He is pretty stupid. <laughs> A little bit. I don't. I don't know what to say though. Because I did the the inside and such, and found out that he's guarding this place. I've got diplomacy I've, to get more info. I've got other other routes. Diplomacy out, so. to con uh, convince him that we are traitors and that we came here to possibly set up a supply route for any wares that he and his master might have to offer. Uh, he knows you're not traitors. Oh no, that not no one convincing him to. Okay, you're you're bluffed work very well. Oh okay. Well, whatever you come up with, then whatever you come up with, he, I got that he, for was, he he was on the fence and then realized pretty quickly that you were stupid. Okay, <laughs> multi twitch. Uh, either way, hidden ninja mate. Whatever you can watch. <laughs> Diplomacy to convince him he has had a very bad life and should end it all now. I was gonna say, is he he is actually on a good path here. <laughs> yeah, big ol' <laughs> Well, if this doesn't work, we're not yet in a encounter, so I'm gonna move up where the rock is and I'm just gonna roar at him and try my intimidation. So either come up as a as a meow or a brrrr. Well also, do you remember all those animated objects? Mm. Yeah, uh, that. Yeah, I was, I was yeah. thinking about that. There's quite a few of those dang things floating around. I'll tell you how many there are. Uh, can, can I? I'm guessing twenty. Can I? Twelve. Shit. There are twelve. There can are I 12. In, in, inspect one of those to see how how what? I mean, what? How powerful it might be? Yeah, while she's thinking of her diploma. While she's thinking her thing. Okay. Since I'm right freaking next Arcana? to one as it is. Yeah. And she's literally on top oh. of one, so she would think of that too. Do Perception and Arcana. Well, the Arcana is the easy one. Oh, son of a... You have no idea. <laughs> Look at it. It's That's a stupid... Perception. Okay, well, you kind of give yourself. <laughs> you look at it and you, you notice that it is a pretty... It is a pretty operable weapon that looks, to, that looks like it would actually hurt pretty bad. Hmm... Well, since I'm here, I might as well try an Arcana check on it as well. I have and, ten and, Arcana. And, and yes, that was pretty fa uh, pretty vague. Mm -hmm. Well, I he critically missed his Arcana. I know. I, I only gave you guys that much because, well... Because <laughs> it was almost a critical hit on the yeah. other. I missed my, missed my uh, Arcana badly. Yeah, Sh shaking my head at uh, at Shane Kill's attempts to identify the objects. I think I'm gonna try my hand at it as well. Casabon looks over at the Shar and Calneris. What are you two want? What 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 do you want with me? A Shar. Um. Quick before he gets to Tetris. <laughs> <laughs> I was playing it, but way before we started, so... <laughs> <laughs> uh, it is really nice. It is nice, multi-twitch. You hear that? Yep. Yeah. Ocho was playing it. I just had to open it and prove it. Okay. Uh, you got anything? Hello, Green Star. Nothing. If, if, if you if you guys want to talk about DME things in my chat as well, I am popping over to it every so often. Mm. What, babe? Uh, I don't know what to say. <laughs> um, shall I take the forefront then? It's up to you. I want to try convincing him that we're not the adventurers, we're just out to explore and these, see what's there. These are not the adventurers you're looking for. <laughs> yeah, there pretty much. <laughs> oh, go for it, go for it. That works for me. Adventurers? What adventurers? We are not the adventurers you're looking for. We're just humble travelers. We are not the visit, we are, we are <laughs> seeing all the wondrous objects we have heard of in the world, visiting all we the are, 
these are not the droids. Wait, wrong universe. These are not the adventures you're looking for. <laughs> so let's see what you got. Diplomacy, right? Yes. Yep. Oh, that was critical, wow. at least. Unreal World. It was terrible, that yes. That is a lot of fucking neat. Jesus. Casabon uh, looks at you guys, lowering his guard a little bit, and he stops muttering and looks at you. You... You guys are, are not them. You guys can also roll an arcane or an intimidate to yep. augment this as well. I was actually going to move up with that. Since we're not in encounter yet, can I move up to where the rock is? Sure. Okay, so I'm just going to move up to where the rock is. You might want to move it over to the left or something. Well, I'm kind of over top of it, so that either way works, you I guess. You can push the rock since I quietly have let it. It's just sitting on the ground at the moment. There you go. Okay, so I'm just going to roll and intimidate and attempt to roar at him then in that case too, you know, kind of shake him up a bit before Shanko uh, teleports in and attacks. Right away you do that. Well, I'll, honestly, what else can I do to intimidate him, you know, to let us pass or, you know, to drop his weapons or I'll scut him like a fish? I don't know. I guess that works. Go for it. Yeah. Let's see. <laughs> Come on. Good luck. Wait, is it actually 11 or let me check here. Uh, yes, 11 intimidate. Bink. Oh, fuck. What is it, the 13s? What is so with our mid-rolls here we keep getting? So so with that, uh, Casabon drops his, his staff and, and completely breaks his concentration. Okay, this is okay, a okay, time okay, for... Okay, okay, I'm sorry, guys. Look, okay, look, okay. The warlock, he hired me to, to stand here and make sure that you guys didn't get inside the cave. Oh, how much is he paying you? Well, he hasn't actually paid me yet. What kind of idiot risked his life without some prepay? What's wrong with you, man? I've got a child to feed. I mean, come on. I gotta oh, try. Oh, oh, great! Now he's going to pay the bill. Check to see if he's trying to bluff us. Go yeah. for it. Was insight or perception? Um. It would be insight. Do okay. it insight, yeah, and then and then after that we'll see what we go for. Oh, lame. Oh, weapon. Much better. I can hear him from back here. You can, you can tell he is, he is shaken up and completely telling the truth. Um. I pass out whisperingly to the shower. Hopefully he doesn't hear me. In that case, uh, we shall at, ask at, him. At, at, at this point, he has actually lost his concentration on the animated objects. So if you were to get into a battle with him, he would take a turn to, to have to regain his grip on them. So they are, they're not dead, but they are, they're, they're innate right now. In that case, should we all advance up there in order to discourage him from that more, as it were? Because if he does happen to engage us, then we could just all hammer him at the same time kind of thing, almost. What was that roll for? Uh, stealth. Okay, where are you moving? To the right? Well, I, I just want to stay, I want to stay out of his sight. I was just, that was like the whisper, the, the, the motioning to the shard that... That I can tell he was telling the truth. Ah, okay. Yeah, that works. Up the stealth. Woohoo! Go stealth. So yeah, then shall we just? Yeah, move I over gave there? my guy stealth. I, I didn't think I needed it, but yeah, you know, what the hell? Why not? You never know. What stealth might go work. Yeah. Might go in handy. Yes. This is the second major instance where it's worked for your in your advantage. Mm -hmm. Yes, it has. So shall stealth we? Is not normally what you think. At least me and uh, Shar, <laughs> shall we advance a bit, Madame? Mm -hmm. It's up to you. I'm, I'm gonna hang back so he doesn't see me. Hey, sure. If you want, if you uh, you want to take my rock with you, just yeah. carry it. For the a shard, a shard just throws it over there. That works for us. Okay, in that oh, case, we shall question him about what lies beyond the entrance to the cave. Beyond, besides the warlock himself, for the moment. Casabon looks at you. Look, I, I don't, I don't want to die. I, I just, I, I was here to, to just to, to hopefully get some, some money for my, my children so that they could eat. Look, I'm just a, a man trying to support his wife and, and kid. Hmm. In that case, let me try a diplomacy check myself, as it were. Okay. Oh, eight. Lame. Ah, that sucks. 
I was going to... What is it? Let me take a look at my what I got here. I was going to flip him a uh, platinum coin in order to convince him, well, in that case, take this money and get the hell out of here. But since I failed that much, I think I'll double it. Uh, well, no. That was just a diplomacy check. Go ahead and roll a diplomacy check again, but add a plus 10 to it for the, the platinum piece that you're going to give him. So, 15? Okay. <laughs> that helps. Wow. Hey, okay. it's a 2 and I still get 17. He's still looking at you kind of puzzled, puzzledly. So, you wanted to go, throw, throw, go ahead and throw a second platinum in? Go ahead and put uh, your plus to 25. <laughs> yeah. You're you're essentially bribing him. Yeah, I'm basically telling here, take these coins, go feed your family, get the hell out of here. So as you're pull as, as you pull out the second platinum, he starts to realize, oh oh my, where did you get all of this money? Many adventures, good sir. Many many monsters slain, much loot gathered. Well, you know. you, you do look capable. Damn straight. Why, why don't I just join you? Uh, oh, Lord. You know what? If you help us kill that guy, I'll throw in another platinum. How's that sound? Well, he did promise me five. But to be honest, I never thought he was going to come through with it, so... Well, let's see here. There's, uh, there's my two... And another one, if he, uh, if we, if you help us kill him, if you he said does, double. yeah. Wait. So that'd be four. He didn't. No, say I said one more. Said another one. Oh, I thought yeah, you said one double. more. No, one more. So that's three. If he has that, <laughs> if he has that gold on him, weapon said. From my, from, from my share of that, I will give you the, I will give you the additional two for your, for your five. Weapon's really sad. He wanted to give magic missile. <laughs> <laughs> May have not. Yes. I know. I'm trying to be impulsive. I'm not. My character really isn't an impulsive character, so I really couldn't do that if I wanted to. He's he's not really an impulsive character, for as far as his, his demeanor. Castlebon looks over at you guys. Well, it it is just the two of you. What are we gonna? Are we gonna be able to defeat the mage? Just with this, the three of us. Face up. Face up. Well, there's a few more than two. Uh, that uh, I think we could probably handle it, and I'll, I'll pull, I, I will walk myself into. Whoa, view. that's the wrong. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> I actually I actually had it stretched out to like here because I'm trying to because I was trying to move you at the same time as you were trying to move, and it just suddenly the fae the fae is breaking into the real world, and, and my legs are stretched. The guy's just warping. Oh man! Uh, I'll walk into view here. And uh, I wave uh, Dumber and uh, uh, Dub Dub up. So they just they come From up the, the right other side. side. Yeah, I was gonna say that. Um. So yes, as you can see, we have more than enough people to take on the warlock. Wow, I, I underestimated the two of you. Wow. Yeah, okay, so we we can totally do this. Um. In which case, since you are going to join us, I wish to inquire about your capabilities, good sir. Well, I am a mage. As you can tell, these animated objects were mine. Um, it took me a while to to conjure them. Uh, so, so if you guys would have ended up killing the the uh, killing him, you would have gotten automatically gotten the experience points for the animated objects, the constructs. You would have gotten fifteen hundred experience from that. Meh. Son of a. Because there, there are 125 experience a piece, and there was 12 of them. Quick, magic missile! No, I'm kidding. Well, considering he is now... He, he has completely dropped the... the hmm. His hold on them. Technically, they have been destroyed, so go ahead and add... Well, I'll give uh, you guys 200 experience each. Actually, I was going to ask him if he would be capable of bringing some of those in with him, but now since they're destroyed, I guess Well, that's... destroyed, they just lost the link to him, and he, he can conjure more. Okay, good. 
So two hundred each. Got it. That's that's that works for me. Um, Calneris and Ashar, considering you two pretty much swayed him, we'll go ahead and add another hundred and fifty experience to your experience totals. Shinko, because you were able to stay stealthy enough, add a hundred to yours. Yay! Dead stealth. Dead stealth. Uh uh. Dead stealth. So I'm up to, <laughs> damn, 2,902. Not bad. He's, he's step <laughs> run away. Well, he's if run away. honest, if he betrays us, I'll put an arrow in his face. And he won't get his gold. And I'll get my gold back. So it works for me either way. And whatever he was worth. Yeah, exactly. His, I his equipment no experience, not his body. We're not on the black market here. No. <laughs> I can't not carve okay. out his organs and sell so, them. No, I'm going to kill you. Um, so your two, your your two kidneys, your your bladder, <laughs> your heart, your lungs. Mm, your intestines would make a decent rope. Well, actually, I, I I would say there was that necromancer ritual where I could preserve the body for a time. So you know, I could have taken him to the city and made you. You know, give us a value for the corpse so I could try selling it to maybe uh, the necromancer school that may be hidden there. That's disturbing. <laughs> hey, it works. It worked. You know, they need no, bodies it's too. Disturb it's disturbing that the fact that you've actually thought about it <laughs> in depth with detail. <laughs> That's no. Hey, dude, did you not see my freaking character sheet for my description? Or my uh, what's it called? Let's just let's yeah, not go there. background. <laughs> I mean, I found the character limit. I mean, come on. Let's not go there. <laughs> anyway, not. anyway. Okay. okay. So we have a valuable uh, mage partner. Also, for convincing Casabon, just go ahead and add another 100 experience. So you guys kind of got the experience for the battle in, um, in checks alone. Oh, oh, do we all get the 100? Or? Yes. All right, well, I just stayed back. 3,002. Uh, you know, Jesus, Jesus, we're going to hit level 4 from this thing. God damn. I'm, I'm, I can I'm, feel I'm the power surging more. inside me. Well, if we gain that much from just him, by the end of the crypt, we should be at least one more level. Yeah. All okay. right. Is there anything you can tell us? Well, I guess there, I already asked if there's anything you can tell us about what is inside there, and he doesn't really know. So, how all did I, the... Uh... All, all I do know is that the mage, he has been expecting you. Uh, we had gotten tipped off. Uh, we had a mole in water in Daggerford. Mole! Mole, mole! Mole, 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 mole! Chop it up and make guacamole! Now, anyway, I digress. Uh, does he know, happen to know the, uh, anything about this mole? Any features, a name, uh, characteristics of any form? I don't know much about the gentleman, just that he had shown up one night to the mage. Um, I had got summoned, and, and we just, you know, he looked rich to me. I, I don't know. Son of a gun, that noble. Yeah. That noble bastard. I'm going to kill him. Sure, find him. We should take him out. Well, we could intimidate him <laughs> for a crap ton of cash for, you know, turning. If, if that's... If that's well, if you, guys, if you guys end up going to Neverwinter, technically. Yeah. Oh, it's going to be good. All right, then. So. Snakes. Why did it have to be snakes? Snakes. No. Okay. Anyway. So, are we prepared, so you, then? You guys are, yeah, you guys are fully healed. Make sure all of your surges, your action points, your dailies, and your encounters are all non filled up. Yeah. You're not diseased anymore. Let's not hey. drink ominous blue water. Those two got lucky. <laughs> you were just stupid. <laughs> hey, hey, I, 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 I will, I've learned my lesson. I will never, uh, I will never listen to Dumber again. I am sorry. Actually, it was Dub Dub that told you or to Dub drink Dub. it. Sorry, whatever. Well, no, because you told Dub Dub to drink it, so Dub Dub was like, "Screw you." Yeah, fifteen. They're, 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 they're not the smartest tools in the shed, but they're smarter than you sometimes. <laughs> well, and they don't really like him. <laughs> yeah, well, well, the feeling is mutual. Dumber doesn't like him. Dub Dub's indifferent. He just wants more beer. He's just he's just traveling with you guys pretty much because Weapon gave him some awesome beer to be, that, that when you guys first met him. Um, he also I'll gave us a lot of money for that beer, for the wine, Good actually. Luck. And we I'm out of wine, so it. that's why we're no we're not friends. I'm out of wine. I don't that's have. Why any we're not I don't have any <laughs> wine to share with you, boy. He doesn't love me anymore. I ran out of wine. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, 
And the NPCs have common sense, unlike the player character over here. <laughs> Alright, so uh, what's you guys' next move? Castbon looks ready to go. Is there anybody Shall else we? in the area that you were of outside of the here? No, they just stuck me and all my constructs out here. Uh, I mean, I'm, pr I'm powerful, but I, I don't think I would have been able to best you guys. Sounds like a good idea. They are beefy. Wait, what? Hey, laid back. Welcome. What? All right, you guys ready then? We're not us... oh. As Calder just walks into the cave. <laughs> oh. Hi. Oh, lovely. And there's the rock! Yay! Oh, you already have planet we're gonna have fossil bond, didn't ya? Huh? So you have planet we're gonna get in to begin with, didn't ya? No, I just copied them in. Oh. While we I, were debating. I planned on, just in case, um, you know, I, I planned the alternative, I planned the two major paths, either killing him or not killing him. <laughs> Pretty much. And consequences magic therein. The base? Not magic whistle to the face! So debatable. So Castbon doesn't quite act like the three of you. He he still kind of acts like Dumber and Dub Dub, but he is significantly more powerful. By the way, I can move both of them. Who Dub Dub and Dumber? Yep. Yeah, yes, I you can. Okay then. Well, anyway, yeah, I, I gave you guys that power, and I guess because uh, Castbon is a part of your party too, you guys can control him as well. Alright, uh, be very careful. You guys are in the Warlock script now. This this is what you've been working towards since we started almost a month ago. So, be very, be very careful. I'm hunting Warlocks. Oh, Jesus. Can right. I do a perception right yeah. here? Yes. I was going to say the same thing. Yeah, let's see what we got here. Oh, two. <laughs> Five. Jesus. So, yeah. Dumber spits on your face. Oh, you son of a... Whenever he rules poorly, by the way, if you guys couldn't tell, Dumber and Dub Dub just do dumb things to him. Oh, I want to tackle him. I want to tackle him. Oh, they, that didn't they, turn they out well your, last time. They saved your bacon. Get over it. Yeah, a couple times. So, the two of you feel a rush of air straight ahead, like as if the stairs um, leading to the second floor are straight ahead. But you also feel a darker presence straight ahead. I think we should check out the antechambers before we get to the big cajone. You have them? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe maybe I'll cut them off after we're after we're victorious. We'll see. You know. If Why they, would if you they, cut they, them off <laughs> after you're victorious? I would assume if you're not victorious. Well, then you Magic I'm talking about three, uh, two, one. <laughs> I'm of course talking about the warlock. But anyway, right. as Calderas runs to the uh, to the right, he's gonna get you killed. I'm just gonna put that out right. <laughs> yeah, we already know that. He's gonna get I, you guys I pause, killed. I pause there. I pause there. I'm waiting for yeah. Char. Yeah, there. Oops, Run, go back to the tavern and lead quiet lives. That's this is what. <laughs> <laughs> I second that. Run away. That's bees. Okay, stop. Stopping. Mage skeleton. Nice. Uh, initiative was 1d20 plus dexterity, so zero. Plus half level. Oh, half level. Okay, so one. Yeah, wait, do I get a. No, because I'm negative. Well, at least you're not negative anymore. Oh. Yeah, I think it balances out. Oh wait, that negative one with my uh, armor, that's just against... <laughs> that would not be versus... That would be against skill checks, not ability checks. Okay. Initiative would be an ability check. One second. Okay, so that would be all my attacks then, okay. Shank kill rolls a 23, almost a critical. It, the, the negative would be against, like, 
um, a skill check in which the skill actually requires strength or there, there's a list in the uh, first player's handbook under skills. She's been reading the handbooks quite a lot. Yeah. Okay, that I'll look under that. It, it has a list of all of the skills and then a list of all of the abilities. You would get a negative against anything that's dex, strength, or constitution. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Wow. Okay. So weapons initiative is twenty three. Silvers is nineteen. Shars is sixteen. And the beast of darkness is question mark. Yep. Oh, why can't I add him to the turn order? Verily. Because he's dead already, lol. <laughs> yes, we, we walked around the corner and scared him to death. Hold on. Why yeah. can't I add him to the turn order? <laughs> Impelling force. Maybe if I rolled like a super critical intimidate. Maybe. But I doubt we'd be that, there, quite that lucky. There we go. Okay, it, turn it, order. I mean, it's a skeleton. Even if I like, you know. Okay, do you guys see anything in the turn order? Um. Okay, my the turn order is good. Uh, now I see they're currently... There aren't currently any tokens on this page. Okay, good. Because I had to open it and close it. It got messed up. I think it gets messed up when it's still open and you change between pages. Oh, maybe. Mage White. Oh, Jesus. That's even... Zzz. More interesting. I don't believe he sees us at the moment. Or if he does, he can't he actually attack. Sees he sees my rod for sure. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. That's what's seeing him. Ooh. Ooh. I have something for Sha. That was really creepy. Don't roll your tongue like that again. <laughs> Weapon can get away with it because his beard's sexy enough to do that. Damn it. Damn it. Sexy man. Sexy man. Damn it, your tactic's not working, or damn it, you can't get away with it because your beard's not sexy. No, unless I can, on. unless not I you, can him. move this thing right through here, then no, it won't work. What? Um, I can, I can move, slide him five spaces. The so glowing rock of doom. If I can slide him like that, then I would get him right beside you for an opportunity attack. Uh, but you can't see him anyways, so. I would move first. Yeah. I can slide him, deal 1d10 damage plus charisma, and then slide him five squares to a space adjacent to one of your allies. Okay. Hey, look at that, baby. You just locked on to Steam. Yeah, I clicked the wrong thing. I'm going to close my actually, to free up some resources. All right, guys. So, yeah, Shane Kill. Close, close Steam. That, that's just the pain during stream. Shane yeah. Kill. I should probably also close the other things as well. I can, okay. I, I, my computer takes like a champ. It well, no, it. it's just it's just because I'm doing a lot of extra things right now. I oh, want to make sure yeah. I'm, I'm as stable as possible. Speaking of which, if anyone wants to see the DMs page, go ahead and check them out on the multi-link. Just don't spoil nothing. I'll oh, kill you. Well, he hasn't seen any of us except for the rock. Mm -hmm. So, what do I you really have to don't do? Do anything necessarily, but. He's within range of like everything of mine. Mm -hmm. uh, Except you don't have line of sight. He would if you moved right, there. But... Yeah. All right. Um, the thing is, I would suppose... it spot? Try. I would say try doing a stealth check first to see if you can move to that position without alerting him, or move there and then do a stealth check to see if you maybe keep out of his line of sight. Yeah. That way you might get a good uh, additional bonus that, to your rolls. That possible. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, right, Corson, welcome. Check then. Well, move and then do the stealth check. Maybe. I think it's move and then do a stealth check yeah. because you get minuses for however far you moved. Oh well, then that would, would that be that'd be four, four, well three there technically. Well, 
four. You all, you I'm only. Heading, we're you heading all, up to here. If I move here, it's not stealth anymore. You only need a perception Such. check, or sorry, a stealth check for the line that he can see. So I mean, if you, if you, and if you move, wait. if you move to, if you move to here, you should still be fine. Once you move down here or to here, you need to make your stealth yeah. check in one of these spots. Well, for him to be, for Shankill to have line of sight, he'd have to move there or there anyways. That's my point. So, he, if he I goes... I wouldn't see him there, I'd have to move here. If you go, if you, you can move this 15 feet here without making a stealth check. Once you move there, yeah, you need to make your check. Alright, well then I'll, I'll do the stealth check for that. Well. Roll that double 26-sided dice. What? <laughs> double 26-sided dice? I'll take it. So, 40, 52. <laughs> Something like that. 14. That's going to be close. Mm. Sorry, I was answering somebody. He said, what would you do for 1 million followers? I said, I don't know. That's kind of creepy. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I like that response. I like that response. Hey, he laser sees, mom, he, see, he, he sees you. You, you, go to, you try to stealth and you stumble. Well, that was just my move action. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm assuming, since it's a uh, undead or a, a white, I'm going to go ahead and use my new spell. Ooh. Which I don't know if anybody, I told anybody what my new spell was. Oh, I see Probably the shield not. level it's a, two. Uh, uh, it's a, uh, uh, no. No, I can't use that one. It's a close blast. Yeah, it was blast. It's, it's, it's blast. Like, aim it this way. So anything within twenty five feet here, basically, it well, range. It, it would actually well, be is it, here. Does it say the, close blast or is it just blast? Basically, from what we've determined of close blast, it has to be close, beside you. Yeah, close like, blast. It one square has to be touching you. Like that, close basically. Blast five. five. Close blast five. Okay. So I can. Well, if it's close blast yeah. five, it would still hit him. Yeah, he'll he'll make it. And I'm assuming uh, he. Oh well, yeah, that would be like that. Well, if he's if he's a white, does that mean he's undead? Yeah. Meaning. Uh, he's, look at him. He's a skeleton. Radiant that's your close blast five, and yes, that's that he's dead. Is is he weak weak against radiant attack? Uh. Do you want to roll a perception check? And I'll just go ahead and tell you. No, he's not. Oh well. I'm gonna use it anyways. Uh, color, color spray. Uh, it's a uh, uh, <laughs> color spray. Silver. What? What? One. What? Not not no. you, silver. <laughs> the other silver. And plus the one There's level. So it's actually uh, on your chat. <laughs> Disguise yourself as sheep and sneak on past. <laughs> one million Being... I would do. I would do a pants dance. Not a no pants dance. I do a pants dance. I do a dance. I do a no pants dance, but mind yeah, you, I sure. wear boxers. That worked for Ulysses, but I don't think he was, you know, fighting undead that have a distinct distaste for the li anything Against living. Against. So, yeah, maybe Barrel. if we were barrels, maybe. Yes. 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 That's he is, unfortunate. He is a mage after all. Mm. Yeah. And uh, well, I'm gonna my spells. That's, that's all I'm gonna do now. Well, you have your miner. Um, yeah, I do, don't I? I'm going to move the rock, since that's that's my miner, that's all I can do. Oh, wait, move the rock. There. Also, I'm an idiot, I drew this on the wrong layer, so I drew the close burst 5, but you guys can't see it, because I put it on the wrong layer. Fail! Uh, it's a free, ac free action, I'll let it go. Okay. So, so we went and dropped Plus the thing the on his head. Correct. Well, I moved it in within twenty, within five of me. Yeah. Which is yeah. Yeah, I'm blocked there. Yeah. So I would. Have and then free action, let it go. Was, did we consider say that was a one d five, one d four, one d six? One d four. I have and to get quite close it seems. Um. Oh, no, I didn't even roll for the damage yet, the, the, the thing yet. No. Whoops! Hold on, hold on, hold on. What was that, 12? That's 12 plus 3, so that's... Uh, 50. You don't have a dex modifier? I do have a dex modifier, just didn't edit. It. It's 3. You... So, 15? Oh, you, you hit. 
and I'll, I'll roll that again since I oopsied there. Uh, yeah. yeah. I'll go ahead and, and let you use your shoddy rolls. <laughs> your dubious rolls. Well, ignore the first one. T- just do the six. I, mean, uh-huh. I-, I made a mistake. Uh-huh. All right. Is that the end of your turn, sir? Yep, has to be. All right. Calneris, it is your turn. Roar. All right. Lovely. So, as the only thing I can really do, you might want to remove that box, by the way. Just saying. Oh, well. Whatever. Oh, it would help if I had my move on here. So, yeah. Two... <laughs> Four, five. Okay, so move there. As that's the only place I can actually stand and shank kills in my way to, you know, hit the thing. And let's see here. I think what caught you, what caught you guys off guard about the voice was his incredible reach. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, that reach sucked. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. So debatable what I want to do here. Thanks for being my meat shield. Just saying. Just saying. <laughs> well, no, technically <laughs> she's a meat shield. You know what? You know what? Especially if she, uh, especially if Don't she doesn't mark. But he, he can double move and move back out of the way. Just saying. Hmm. It, it's Actually, a possibility. I think Dumber would agree with me. And Dub Dub. Well, I, agree with I am debating whether or not <laughs> I want to risk Shane Kill's life right now. Oh, I forgot Just... to mention also, the spot where Calneris is is a narrow passageway, so that actually takes uh, two movement points instead of the regular one. Oh, sorry. Oh, shit. Now you tell me. Yeah, sorry. I forgot to tell you. Four. Those weird, those really small areas, um, I are kind of like that where it's an actual thing where you can fit through that's you know that's one that's one thing but this really small section either way that would have used up my last two to get that but anyway um can i move this way though you already moved no i'm just saying could i move this way backwards the wall is kind of here no you'd have to move I'd... here first yeah it's a corner locked Shh. damn for the sake of this situation because I believe that this is just like a diagonal path yeah but most corners you have to go around not yeah. diagonally through but yeah, because of, this is such an odd but one because, yeah. because of the way this is set this one is set up I'm going to allow you guys to do diagonals Three, four, through five. this one okay in that case I'm going to use impelling force mm-hmm. all right Um, let's see. I really need to get this in my head there. Uh, so Charisma's plus two. <laughs> Read Silver's chat. Wait a second, Peanut making a joke. <laughs> oh, what the- <laughs> Silver's chat is what the- against- you- Uh, that would be fortitude, if I'm not mistaken. You hit. Alright, so that's a 1d10 plus Charisma. And I will be moving him to here. I should I guess I should mark that. Wait, you're moving the mage I can where? slide him. All the way there? All the way there. How? I can slide him five tiles with this ability. That works for me. Yeah. You son of a why would you do that? I why because, would you do that? Combat advantage. Combat advantage. Oh, no. Oh. She would have to she would have to move diagonally. Yeah. I could, oh. I could move right there. Yeah, but you have to move right and then down, so you actually are going to provoke an attack of opportunity. Not um, to mention, if Shank Hill moves at all, he provokes an attack of opportunity. So you a, actually is there kind of just wall here them. to count as a corner. Yes. Hmm. All right. Because nah, that's actually not a space that she can move into. Damn it! To I be honest, was. my. Our work class is 21. I'm not that worried about <laughs> That's true. attacks of art. Our work class is 20. I'm not that worried either. That's true. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. You did kind of put them in I, a stupid position. I know. Position. I know. I just did it for the. Uh, I did it for the. What's it called? Even the, uh, if I didn't have combat advantage, then, advantage. Oh well. Yeah. I move one and I can attack. Mm-hmm. 
So yeah, that's the uh, that's the damage ten. Oh, sorry, I was reading Twitter. I uh, was reading Twitter. What? Mm -hmm. I just did damage to him. Ten. <laughs> sorry, I was Cough. reading. Some, it totally. I was. Yeah. Cough. Ten. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is it Force the, damage. Ooh. Is that the end of your uh, the end of your damage? No, the end of your turn. No, I'm gonna use as my. Uh, well, it's a daily actually. Uh, I, I wouldn't recommend use using dailies right now. Yeah, no, no. most definitely no, not. It sucks that one's a daily, but. Who's with me? Sorry, I'm playing. Apparently, the Pokemon Red theme is playing on my on my stream. Hmm. Version yeah, yeah. out out of the palace OC Remax. Castlevania Tech. No man. Well, Pacific Circle of the Moon. Technomancy. I like that one. Yeah, that's no, actually, I'm not gonna uh, use that. A, that's a good remix. Yeah. I haven't heard it in a while. Hang on. Let me refresh that so I can actually. And I can't out. use my uh, dragon breath on it without you know hurting everybody else. So. You wouldn't want to use your. Oh, it's an encounter, isn't it's it? It's an encounter power. Yes. Fuck! I should use that first and then my other one. Oh well. That's that's my bad. So yeah, I'm just going to pass it off to the lovely Ashar then. In that case, since I have no other interesting miners other than my daily. Unless, hmm, no, no, I can't. I would have to use a miner to equip it and then a miner to throw it. Never mind. So Ashar then. Uh, wow, silver! No. Wait, what? Not you. There's another silver in your oh. stream, in your chat. <laughs> uh, well, considering they don't have any virtual junk, I would say no. Probably not. Now, if you used a gigantic mace on any part of them, yeah, that would hurt. As blunt uh, mace you know, weapons, do we? Well, flail is pretty damn close to a mace. Anyway. A shot? I... I'm debating. I will actually provoke. Because I want to stand there. So, Senor Brad, your attack of opportunity, sir. Mm, yes, it is. I was on top of that. Uh, mm. We're using uh, D20 tools. Uh, www.d20tools.com You were saying about your AC? It very easily could have been lower. You were saying about your AC? <laughs> I also have 41 hit points. Also using... Player tools. That's for the, uh, the screeny. Oh! A critical missed. Well, critical fail. I hit, I, hit you, I hit you for seven. It was uh, that's two necrotic damage, and I can also push you to uh, two squares. Oh. Son of a gun. So I push you back where you started. But she couldn't. He wouldn't have the attack of opportunity again, would he? If she did that. No. no, but she would have to waste the standard move to get back into position. True. I, ha I can't attack anyways. I have the only option that I have for attack would be throw a javelin. Or you could just and move I'd forward have to and take him. a miner to be able to do that. Yeah, but if you move now, you're not going to provoke an attack of opportunity. Whereas if you move on your next turn, where yes, you can actually but do I was proper. saying, yeah, I can't make an attack this turn anyways unless I throw a javelin at him. Well, you can mark him. I can mark him, but that's not an attack. No, but it's still something. Mm -hmm. If I throw a javelin at him, I can't mark him because it's a minor and the standard. Ironically, she doesn't have a gigantic mace. She has a gigantic flail. Close enough. Close enough, yes. Close enough. That does exceedingly excellent so, damage. I am going to move back there. <laughs> and mark him. Mark him. Mark him. Of course I'm going to mark him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I like that. I can just push you guys whenever I want. Push. Push. <laughs> hey, I can do that too. Don't you forget now. Yeah, but my... Uh, that's true. 
Damn straight. So, Mage Wright. Nah. Uh, yes. What do you have for us, Almighty Skeletor? Probably something not good. Probably. And since we're all freaking standing right by him. I like the weapon dance. Just saying. He's preparing evil for us. This is evil song. Just be glad that I didn't actually implement the tainted wisps. And welcome moves. Because I have an encounter move that if I hit, it conjures two tainted wisps, and if it misses, I still get to conjure one. <laughs> so. And I'm assuming they're evil. Yes, just be glad I didn't conjure them into here. Out of curiosity, I'm, hold on, I'm kind of curious what the Tainted Wisp is now. <laughs> oh god, he's looking at it. I just didn't bother. Ooh. Yeah, I mean, they're a minion. It's just annoying. Hey, Moogle, minions? welcome. Yeah. Isn't that the point of minions? Well, I could... Especially I mean, summon ahead. multiple minions? Well, you know what? Just because I feel like it now... <laughs> Thank you, Silver. You guys have now Tainted Wisps to deal with. <laughs> hey! Not entirely my fault. You'll get over it. <laughs> or maybe not. I don't I don't care. Anyways, so I'm going to do spirit chilling burst. It is a cold necrotic attack. It's my encounter power. It is a close burst two. Oh, Which means yeah. it can only hit two well close burst, yeah, it would hit all of us. Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh yeah, that'd be that, basically. Yeah. Yeah, burst is from centralized on the body and around, so yeah. So anyway, let's see your verses, I should say. Mm. Does it say that it hits us all, or just a number of us? No. It... Oh, wait a minute. Debater. Oh, merciful dear, I have a mercy, sir. No, it, sometimes it, it's it, close burst, but it can only hit one or something like that. No, no close burst two. So yeah, it hits all of us. Number of targets. No, it just hits close burst two. And is there any defensive because role for us? sometimes. I know, I know what you're saying, sometimes, but right now, no. Yeah. <laughs> it can just hit all of you. Kind of like okay, my dragon so breath. That was against Cal Neris's fortitude. Oh, that eight? Shane kills fortitude. Ashara's fortitude. Hang on. Yeah, that hits me. Wait. Fortitude, yeah, it does. Let me see what mine, uh... 12. Um, Shar. 16. I knew I wasn't gonna hit her. Yeah. <laughs> and so, I didn't yeah, think mine I... was mine's twelve, so you definitely hit me. Did I hit you, uh, Silver? Oh okay. hell no! I have live. I had eight fortitude. I'd be really sad. Alrighty then. So lucky, lucky okay. white. The attack includes me. Meaning That's my, my challenge like. doesn't take effect. Wait, he did damage weapon, but it doesn't take effect. No. My divine challenge doesn't take effect because I was included in the attack. Oh, I see. It didn't hit me, but it was still I was still targeted. Ah, I see. Oh, I'm cool. also right. making them take. I turned them. I give him a purple tint. So these guys are not exactly nice. Are they minions? So okay, so this is a, a roll against Shankill here, a one d six plus three cold and necrotic damage. So it's not two separate plus threes; it's just plus three, but it's cold necrotic. Oh, well, I don't have a negative against so either one. So well, if he if he had a resistance against one or the other, what would happen? Um, it will say if he had a. Uh, uh, say a cold resistance three, he would just negate that three damage. If it was resistance necrotic, it would be you know three would negate the three damage. Now if he had cold and res necrotic resistance three, it would just still negate it. There's no. Hey, Captain Sandwich, welcome. Uh, mate. So it's all not too bad, it's Cold and necrotic, like kind of mixed into one. The only if he time, had the only the only time it starts to change, I think, is when it's resist and absorbing. Uh, I wait. Maybe resist is just strong against. I think it's absorbing that's different. 
Well, either way. Oh, no, it's immune that I'm thinking of, too. There's immune, resist, and then I believe there's absorb, but I'm, I can't remember. Anyways. That is against Shankill. The target also loses a healing surge. And two tainted whips, wisps uh, appear in squares adjacent to the target. The wisps ju act just uh, after the mage, white, in the initiative order. Also, I missed you guys. Mm -hmm. So I still get to roll my 1d6. That is against Calneris, and that is against the Shar. Wow. I have a, it's my encounter, there's a miss action. Even when I miss, I can still roll my 1d6 plus 3 cold necrotic. It's just that I only get to, uh, Summon one wisp. Bring out one tainted wisp. Which, by the way... Wait. Because I missed the two of you, I got to summon more. So I summoned one for missing the, each of you, so I summoned two more. Goddamn! By the way, there's five of these guys in here. Wait, five? Yes. Not in this, not in this battle, in the cave here. On this floor. Oh, the mage guy. Okay. There are five of them. Hey, gravity. So, it is now their turn, too. Don't spoil it! No, anyway. There, it is now their turn. Did I put them into my... Crap, no, I didn't. What did I name them? I'm still inside the beach. Well, it does mean that me and Shamekill can't be slayed by healing. Because we're surrounded. Mm -hmm. You we guys are literally move. surrounded. Kalnerius, on the other hand, can still flee. Then again, we don't know what's further down there. So I don't recommend that, but... Hmm. Okay. I'm... So, yeah. What is your reflex? 15 and... Oh, that's evil. 14. Uh, the, the wisps have a, a trigger action. Trigger, when an attack hits the tainted wisp, effect, roll a d20 on a 10+, plus. the tainted wisp takes no damage. That's evil. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and roll my tainted wisp attack. Because Which one? I, all of them. Oh, okay. I held back last time. I'm not holding back this time. Okay, so there is the... There's this guy right here. Mm-hmm. This one here. What is he going for? He, he's going to attack Char. Uh, yeah. 21 against your reflex. Yeah, that hit. This is gonna hurt. Okay, just take, you just take four psychic damage. There's nothing to roll. Okay. This wisp right here is now going to go ahead and attack. The one to the left of that. Six. Ooh. Critical uh, yeah. fail. The wisp goes to attack you and just flutters out. All right, they're minions, aren't they? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, so this wisp here is going to go ahead and attack Shankill. 19 against your reflex. Uh, I don't think it's that good. No, 14. No, I got a 14, so... I have all the stats up. This Captain Sandwich is no remorse. I held back last time. They kicked my extremely hard monster's butt. So I'm not holding back anymore. So take I'd like to also point out that I'm almost bloody. Uh, yeah, you took four psychic damage. Now it's going to be this wisp, Wisp's attack against Calneris. 20 against your reflex, sir. Take 4 psychic damage. Mm. Yeah, don't and even need to question it. That is finally the end of my turn. Yay! It's not St. <laughs> turn. Quick, call some assistance. Is this like the blights where if we kill the white, they die too? Yes, but the blights were level two. Well, I, I know they, if like nothing 30. else, they had more health, but still. Oh yeah, they had like 26 HP. These guys have one, though there is the if you attack, you still have a chance to miss, because I can I can roll a 1d20, and if I if I roll a 10, over a 10, 
the Tainted Wisp takes no damage, so... I'd like to point yeah. out this will be the first time I've actually used this ability in battle. I am going to use my face step, which allows me to teleport up to five places. I am going to teleport so, myself so, out... Uh,